Hey, I just wanted to tell you this story. Um, something that happened September 9th of 2013, and I know it's been a few years back now, but this golden treasure was found at the foot of the Temple Mount, and I thought it was worth telling this story. The reason why I'm retelling this story from 2013 is because when I was at the Jerusalem shop, he had a replica of this menorah that was discovered near the Temple Mount and it was a gold medallion along with other jewelry of gold and silver and gold coins that were discovered by the famous Israeli archaeologist Dr. Elat Mazar and her father was a famous archaeologist in Israel too before her. 2013, when she discovered this, is the exact year that my almond tree sprouted. And I thought that was pretty exciting. So this article was put out by mfa.gov.il and the Israel Ministry of Foreign Affairs reported this story that golden treasure found at the foot of Temple Mount. Ophel treasure includes gold medallion with menorah Torah scroll and shofar etchings. September 9th of 2013, a breathtaking once-in-a-lifetime discovery at the foot of the Temple Mount in Jerusalem, Hebrew University archaeologist Dr. Alot Mazar discovered 36 gold coins, gold and silver jewelry, and a gold medallion etched with a menorah. And by the way, they are making brass replicas of this medallion that was gold. They're making brass, and I saw a copy of it, and that's why I'm telling the story. But I thought it would be appropriate to wear my Jerusalem hat with the Jerusalem lion, and, you know, this is the emblem of Jerusalem, and it says Jerusalem up my hat here. And I thought it was appropriate for this incredible article. And I just wanted to retell this story because, you know, sometimes things are in the news and they kind of get overlooked. The article states, A third-generation archaeologist working at the Hebrew University's Institute of Archaeology, Dr. Mazar directs excavations on the City of David summit and at the Temple Mount's Southern Wall, calling the find a breathtaking once-in-a-lifetime discovery. Dr. Mazar said, We have been making significant finds from the first temple period in this area, a much earlier time in Jerusalem's history. So discovering a golden seven-branch menorah from the 7th century CE at the foot of the Temple Mount was a complete surprise. And here you can see they've circled, let's see, it's right here. This is kind of like the southeast corner here, the circle part. That's where the excavation was in 2013. The discovery was unearthed just five days into Mazar's latest phase of the Ophel excavations and can be dated to the late Byzantine period, early 7th century CE. The gold treasure was discovered in a ruined Byzantine public structure a mere 50 meters from the Temple Mount's southern wall. Now there's a lot of excavations that went on in that area in the 1800s that I have read archaeological articles and books about and it's pretty interesting you know the priests had their quarters down on that southern end of the Temple Mount area and there's ruins there but the menorah, a candelabrum with seven branches that was used in the temple, is the national symbol of the state of Israel and reflects the historical presence of Jews in the area. The position of the items as they were discovered indicates that one bundle was carefully hidden underground while the second bundle was apparently abandoned in haste and scattered across the floor. Now the reason why I think this is exciting that my almond tree sprouted in 2013 and she discovered this seven branch menorah of the temple is because it was an almond tree. It was replicated of an almond tree. 
and I just think that's a really significant thing that happened and also remember I was telling you that I was lifting up my almond tree and then we got that incredible flood that came where the clouds just sat over Colorado for seven days and didn't move and dumped rain and that is like unprecedented unheard of and it was one of the biggest floods we ever had in the state and it did a lot of damage to roads and in the mountains it just ripped out sides of the hills with the roads on it and people had to be extracted by helicopter so it was quite the flood in 2013. Given the date of the items in the manner in which they were found Mazar estimates they were abandoned in the context of the Persian conquest of Jerusalem in 614 CE. After the Persians conquered Jerusalem, many Jews returned to the city and formed the majority of its population, hoping for political and religious freedom. But as Persian power waned, instead of forming an alliance with the Jews, the Persians sought the support of Christians and ultimately allowed them to expel the Jews from Jerusalem. Hanging from a gold chain, the menorah medallion is most likely an ornament for a Torah scroll. In that case, it is the earliest Torah scroll ornament found in archaeological excavations to date. It was buried in a small depression in the floor along with a smaller gold medallion, two pendants, a gold coin, and silver clasp all of which are believed to be Torah scroll ornamentations. It would appear that the most likely explanation is that the Ophel cash was earmarked as a contribution toward the building of a new synagogue at the location that is near the Temple Mount, said Dr. Mazar. What is certain is that their mission, whatever it was, was unsuccessful. The treasure was abandoned and its owners could never return to collect it. The Ophel Cache is only the third collection of gold coins to be found in archaeological excavations in Jerusalem, said Lior Sandberg, numismatic specialist at the Institute of Archaeology. The 36 gold coins can be dated to the reigns of different Byzantine emperors, ranging from the middle of the 4th century CE to the early 7th century CE, said Sandberg. Found with the coins were a pair of large gold earrings, a gold-plated silver hexagonal prism, and a silver ingot. Remnants of fabric indicated that these items were once packaged in a cloth purse similar to the bundle that contained the menorah medallion. The 2013 excavation season at the Ophel ran from the middle of April to the end of July on behalf of the Institute of Archaeology of the Hebrew University. The Israel Antiquities Authority is carrying out the preservation works and is preparing the site for the public. The excavation site is situated within the Jerusalem National Park around the walls of Jerusalem of the Israel Nature and Parks Authority and is administered by the East Jerusalem Development Company. The Ophel project has been generously underwritten since 2009 by Daniel Mintz and Meredith Berkman from New York. The entire project includes the archaeological excavations the processing of the finds towards publication as well as the preservation and the preparations of the site for its opening to the public. Herbert W. Armstrong College in Edmond, Oklahoma supports Mazar's project by sending students to participate in the excavations. So that is such an exciting story and so thrilling about the connection with my almond tree sprouting that same year that she found this very large medallion. Now, like I said, they are making replicas of that pendant now, that medallion, out of brass, and I don't know whether they make them out of gold or, or what, but I saw this copy of one at the Jerusalem shop, so I'm going to show it to you. Now this is the original gold medallion and this is copyright Dr. Ilat Mazar.
and the photograph taken by Luria Tadmore. And of course, that is all rights reserved to the State of Israel, copyright 2013. I am taking these pictures. This is the brass replica of the Temple Menorah pendant that Dr. Elat Bazar discovered the gold one, the original, at the south end of the Temple Mount in 2013. This beautiful pendant is a replica of a 7th century gold artifact that was discovered in Jerusalem by Dr. Mazar and is now displayed in the Israel Museum. It features the seven-branched temple menorah along with two other important biblical images, a Torah scroll and a shofar. In the 1800s, excavations were done at the southeast angle of the Temple Mount, and those were done in the late 1800s, and I have read the book about it. It's, it's a really interesting story. So the temple, the corner of that southeast corner, goes down about 80 feet underground that you can't see. So that tells you how much of the wall is actually buried. And they did find artifacts. They found clay jar handles that had El Melek, which basically is the king, and any kind of seal for the king. So there's a lot of really interesting archaeological discoveries to yet be made in Israel. And hopefully we will have some more discoveries soon. So I hope you enjoyed seeing this replica. I would have probably not known about it. I'm sure I heard about it in 2013, but because I was at the Jerusalem shop and saw this brass replica of it there, that's why I decided to tell this story and photograph the brass replica of the golden medallion that she found so that you could see it and you know just enjoy hearing about such an incredible discovery that you know I'm sure that it kind of was overlooked with other news that was going on at the time and I just wanted to share it again so that you could see something pretty exciting and how they're unearthing all of these incredible finds in Israel all the time and it just kind of gives you a big glimmer of hope and, and joy to see these things that are really fascinating. I'll talk to you soon.